Hello my friends! Today I will show you how to crochet bare application like this. For this project you will need three colors of yarn. You can use any yarn you like and recommended hook for those yarn. I will use cotton yarn 125 meters in 50 grams and 3 millimeters hook. I will start with brown yarn. So we will start with magic ring. Take the yarn with these three fingers, point finger is free, and then yarn over point finger. Then keep tension with this small finger, then go into this place like this, then grab the yarn, pull through, and do chain one. Magic ring is done. It looks like this. And now into magic ring we are going to do six single crochets. So go into ring, grab the yarn and do first single crochet. This is second single crochet, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Now pull this tail like this, make it tight and then go into first single crochet and do slip stitch to close the round. First round is done. Now we will start with second round. Start with chain one. Then go into the same stitch where we did slip stitch. And here we are going to do two single crochets. So this is first. Then go into the same place and do one more single crochet. Go into next stitch and here do two single crochets. This is first and into the same stitch do second. Then repeat into next do first single crochet and second single crochet. Then into next do two single crochets into next two single crochets first and second and now we have this last stitch and here we also should do two single crochets but we will do just one single crochet here and then we have this slip stitch so next single crochet we will use this slip stitch and do single crochet here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this is twelve stitch. So you should have twelve stitches. Then go into first single crochet and do slip stitch to close the round. We completed round two. Now we start round three. Start by making chain two, then yarn over, go into the same stitch where we did slip stitch and here do one double crochet. Then yarn over, go again into the same stitch and do second double crochet. 
yarn over, go into next stitch and do first double crochet, yarn over and then again into the same stitch and do second double crochet. So in every single crochet from previous round we do two double crochets into next stitch first double crochet and into the same stitch second double crochet then into next first and second This is my last single crochet from previous round and I have this slip stitch. So in this last single crochet we should do two double crochets but we will do just one. So yarn over, go there and do first double crochet and second double crochet do into this slip stitch. Then go into first double crochet on beginning and do slip stitch. Round 3 is done. Now we are going to do round 4. Start with chain 1, then go into first double crochet, so it is the same stitch where we did slip stitch, and here do one single crochet. Then into next stitch do second single crochet, into next third single crochet, into next fourth, fifth and sixth. So we did six single crochets and now go into next stitch and here do one slip stitch. And now we are going to do the ear. So yarn over, skip one stitch, go into next and here do double crochet. Then into the same stitch do second double crochet into the same stitch, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. Then skip one stitch, go into next and do slip stitch. First ear is done. Now go into next stitch and do one single crochet, then into next do second single crochet and into next we do one slip stitch. And now we are going to do the second ear. So yarn over skip one stitch, go into next and here we are going to do seven double crochets. So this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. Then skip one free stitch, go into next and do one slip stitch. Second ear is done and now into next stitch do single crochet into next single crochet 
then third single crochet fourth fifth sixth and seventh do into this slip stitch then go into first single crochet in this round and do slip stitch then chain one make it tight and you can cut the yarn our first part is done this tail make it tight then go into one stitch pull through and do chain one to make it safe then pull it through few stitches and you can cut it and the second tail you can also pull through a few stitches our first part is done and next what we do is the white circle we will start on the same way as previous part so start with magic ring take the yarn with these three fingers yarn over point finger keep tension with this small finger insert hook like this grab the yarn pull through and then do chain one magic ring is done and now into ring we are going to do six single crochets this is first second third fourth fifth and sixth then pull this tail make it tight and then go into the first single crochet and do slip stitch round one is done now second round start by making chain one go into the same stitch where we need slip stitch and here do two single crochets this is first and into the same stitch second then go into next stitch and do two single crochets into next stitch again two single crochets and this is my last single crochet from previous round and this is slip stitch so we are going to do one single crochet in this last single crochet and one single crochet into the slip stitch then go into first single crochet in this round and do slip stitch round two is done now chain one make it tight and you can cut the yarn we have this tail again so we will make it tight then take some small smaller hook 
pull the yarn and do chain one to make it safe. And second part is done. Next we are going to do is nose, mouth and eyes. For that I will use black yarn and some obtuse needle. Land you need is about one, two, three, four times. So first we are going to do is the nose. Go into one stitch, not into this hole in the middle, but go into one hole where we have last two single crochets. So go there, pull through, this tail leave like this, and then go into the stitch. So this is stitch above, we are going into this stitch and pull through. Then go back into the same stitch where we started, like this, and pull, pull it through. Then go into the same stitch and pull it through one more time. Come back in the first stitch, then go into next stitch, and pull it through. Come back into first stitch, then into the same stitch, into first stitch, then go into next stitch and into the first stitch, then into the same stitch and then come back down into the same stitch. Then go into next stitch, first time, then into first stitch and again into the same stitch on the top. It looks like this. Then come back into first stitch. It looks like this. Now go down into this stitch here, like this. And next we are going to do is the mouth. So go into this stitch here. So we are down. This is one, two, third stitch. Then go into next stitch, then skip one, go into next and fill this stitch. Then go down into this stitch, then into next. into next stitch and come back to fill this last stitch.
it looks like this. Now, lace it up, this tail and this piece of the yarn. And now, do not cut this yarn, but go into the middle of this brown part from the top to the bottom, like this. And now we are going to sew these two parts. So we will need some white yarn and another needle And last, what we are going to do is the eyes. So go into this stitch here, then into one stitch on the top. Come back in the same stitch and then one more time in the top stitch. Then go on other side. It looks like this and now do the knot on the back side. And our bear is done. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon in some new project. Bye bye.